Okay, so let's just go ahead and get started. What do you say? Um, so yeah, so my plan right now is to start just like generically um, getting my shit together kind of thing. I need to clean up some aspects of the repo and I figured I might as well do that in a recording so that way the gaslight of effects will not be too apparent. Uh, like it is at least hypothetically possible to have followed the thread. <laughs> and then in the process of this, I need to plan like the chunked out of bull videos because I really want to stop just dumping a two and a half hour video for y'all to churn through. So video one will be um, video zero because it's like preparatory. Uh, is clean up and planning. Then video one will be defining the, oh, I looked here, there's nothing there. Um, defining the outline assignment. That assignment? Who cares? Uh, and two is going to be yeah tools specifically to manage the citations specifically Zotero um, though you can do whatever you want and then three shall be Oh, um, more tools for the actual document gen generation writing this part, um, which I will try to burn through the basics of VS Code, Obsidian, which is the markdown methods with like mark map extension which is the thing that you use to make this these pretty trees you see um and then i'll also throw you doc folks a bone and <laughs> just show you how to make it with google docs well i that we'll see because i really we're going to be handling all the assignments and turning it in stuff through the Discord server in your category because I can scrape that and I and interact with that programmatically. Um, whereas Canvas, I have to click n times three, I think, to see all the stuff where you are n, y'all are n, 22. So it's like, what is that, 66 fucking clicks? And they each, it's like, no. No, I say. Seize the means. Burn it to the ground. Discord is nothing but a big old honkin' markdown file editor. And the sooner we all realize it, the happier we'll all be. Okay. Um, great. Okay, so let's clean this shit up. Uh, this is, at this point... <laughs> See, the benefit of me not remembering anything that's ever happened in the past or anything I've ever said in any context is that uh, I hope <laughs> the level of confusion should probably be fairly constant throughout this whole thing because I can't remember if I've explained something before so I'm probably just going to start over again every time I talk about it. Ah. Iterate. Okay. Here we are. We are in This is VS Code. We are looking at a repository. The repository is, this is the local version on my computer, local to me. And there's also a remote version who lives, open on remote, open on remote, GitHub. This is the one that lives upon GitHub. Um, oh, I guess I should also say, this is this time and then the next iteration like this is all about the the theme of the day is uh outline 
build your knowledge tree. It's going to look like one, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I did that wrong, but you know what I mean. Shouldn't there be 27? Did I do that wrong? So this is. So we're going by threes. Threes is a good number. I'm getting distracted, but it's okay because this is video zero. Like, this is slot bucket. We do whatever we want. Um, right, so okay, so we're doing by threes because threes is a good number because small world networks. And if you don't know what that is, ask the machine. Um, they're important, so we're going by threes. So this is the root, and then the root is three to the zero. This bullshit, where if you raise it to the zero, it becomes one. Fine, this. It's like one of these things it's like I've never been happy with that <laughs> kind of like I don't feel good about sums either it's like it's like read logic comics Bertrand Russell said <laughs> the concept of an infinitesimal is is vacuous like the concept like 0.999 equals one it's like that's true only by assumption logically speaking it's <laughs> It's fine. Okay, three to the one, one, two, three. I think I know why it's not 27. Hey, um, now we're two layers in. This is three to the second, so that's gonna be, what the fuck is that? Nine? Yeah, nine, three, one. Uh, one, three, nine, and then a, and then a yet, an, a yet another level. Ah, this is why I can never get anything done because I just love drawing trees too much. You see, it's these trees. Do y'all know that Don Cheadle plays Captain Planet thing? Do you know enough about Captain Planet to to understand? why that <laughs> sketch has burned such a place in my mind. It's hard to know. The tree has become ugly. That's okay, because we now know the pattern. Because now here we are at three to the three, our good old friend, 27, probably. Three cubed, three cubed. Pretty color, not pretty color, pretty, it's, a, it's just a pretty part of a tree, you see. Three to the third. Ah, oh, look at all those threes. Three, what a wild number. Because zero we get. That one makes sense. One, like, listen, okay, I guess. Two, it's like you're telling me there's more of these. And three, it's like you're telling me there's a bunch of them. So once we get to three to a three, that's a pretty good, that's a pretty good indication. Everything at, everything after three, um, well, uh, Google smallest Smallest non-interesting number of paradox. 27. Okay, I might have done this math wrong. <laughs> okay, so then we take the sum of these and we got uh, 1 plus 3 plus 9 plus 27, 30, 40, 40. Great. Uh, so the 3 by 3 thing actually produces 40 nodes because it's probably some combinatorial bullshit. Um, listen, you have to understand. I'm giving you these hard, rigid <laughs> assignment parameters because it's. I understand that it is easier to follow explicit instructions. But you're growing up now, and you're entering the real world and bullshit, um, and you're no longer going to be in college or whatever. And so it is critically important that you learn the essential life skill of making fake deadlines for yourself. De fake deadlines, fake constraints. No one's going to tell you what's important. No one's going to tell you how to do it. So make that shit up for yourself. Pretend it's real until such time as 
it ceases to serve you. Like the thing where I was like, I definitely going to get this done yesterday. And I said that yesterday and it's today. I, I, that was the plan. And when it didn't happen, guess how stressed out I was measurably, but <laughs> I'm not flagellating myself. Um, Look at that. This is the beauty of zooming in. It looks like I'm just, zoom out, it's like, ooh, enticing. <sighs> uh, Deary me. Okay, where are we? Who are you? Who are you people? What are we doing here? Mm, oh yeah, we're gonna do that with the make docs thing. This is the plan. <sighs> the temptation to jump in. This is Krita. Krita is a free open source like software for drawing on stuff. This is a Wacom tablet, which I've had for a long time. I don't think I've been, I don't think I've used it in any of these videos yet, but I, I finally like dusted it out, <laughs> but dusted it off and pulled it out and like figured out the workflows for it. And uh, game changer, y'all, I'm telling you. A whole extra modality. Spatial reasoning in addition to linear linguistic i'm just firing pressure waves in a row but now you're telling me i can also organize shit in two-dimensional space with my nervous system wild you all probably know this you run on ipads right anyways moving on okay we are preparing for this dang thing um also to be honest i will hold your hand I will post something today, but if it's just this, I won't worry about that because I have to keep reminding myself, you are human adults, intelligent, hardworking human adults. I can literally just give you a text thing that you can read with your eyeballs and figure it mostly out. Um, Cause man, I fucking, I cannot tell you how much I love scrolling through your shit here oh my god look at you go look at you go what you got what you some some conversation i don't know look at this it's like, look at him go ah so good and i'm gonna scrape this and send it back to you and you'll you'll you just just you'll see you got no idea just keep pouring it in. I'm like, this part, oh my God, this one. So first of all, I feel weird about the thing where like you're all just like <laughs> faceless numbers. Um, but I just like switching back and forth was just like, I just, yeah. I don't know. It was a little more effort than I was willing to put out. So you are more than welcome to change your nickname. Let me rephrase that. Server settings, role. Y'all, <laughs> y'all are all student type Ooh, do we have student? Oh, uh, no, it's default. Default position, permissions. Everyone, everyone has permission to change your nickname. But you don't have permission to manage nicknames, which would allow you to change the nicknames of other people. I can do that. Yees cannot. <sighs> Them's the rules. Like, if I was in the same room with you, I'd be able to look at you and you'd be go like, yeah, n like, no shit, my dude. But right now you're hypothetical future people and I'm in a room by myself talking to various states of silicone. Silicon? Whichever. Real quick because I love it so much. I got... <laughs> One of my favorite things is opposite machines they're everywhere this is a microphone it is the opposite of this this is a speaker this thing's job is to turn pressure waves into an electrical signal this thing's job is to turn electrical waves into a pressure signal because our nervous systems are too stupid to tell the difference of which one came from which place and so because we encode we have transduced you see the environmental energy of a pressure wave into an electrical signal we can digitize that duplicate it infinitely I can send it to you and then you'll be like oh yes I will now have the thoughts you had I now know that you the human had these thoughts at some other time and I the clever human can decide whether or not to incorporate said thoughts into my worldview <sighs> 
and don't get me started on cameras. LED solar panel, opposite machines. Turbine motor. Oh, except you gotta ask it in a chat, my friend. I will do it for you. See, so you made a mistake, right click on them. Apps, Skellybot, open chat and thread. Uh, ignore these. For for three for fifty a for three for fifty a welcome oh I forgot to do the thing where I put the oh now it's responding twice <laughs> it's fine it's interesting I think because it was so prompted with hierarchy and outlines it liked to respond in outline where even are we. I'm getting distracted. Oh, maybe I told it up here that it's going to be in outlines. I did change the personality slightly. Um, I changed the part, this part, you can actually didn't fix it, right? This part used to say I keep my answers short, one to two sentences, unless I have reasons to say more. And I told, noticed it was being too terse. So I changed the language to say, I, I just removed the specification of one to two sentences. And so now it just, it is being more verbose. I think it's being a little too verbose. Um, feel free to add some extra prompts in your settings to change the vibe. Ooh, do, 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 do. And I hope you're doing all right. E4, B5, EA. E4, B5, E4. Because... I'll, re I'll reach out. It's like, you're telling it, it's just the volume. Anyway. See, this this D8B6 of a f looks like someone who, who bounced off of my sloppy initial instructions. And they did one, but this, the, right, this was three, this was the assignment three, where I gave you the task, but I didn't give you the call to action, so you didn't know what to do. And so you see, there was, there was a lot of these, like, I did it. Eh. <laughs> um, like I did, I, I checked all, I did the task and I have received no educational experience as a result. <laughs> uh, and I, it is unclear to me what I should do next is what I read from this. Um, and, and I'm sorry, my dude, subtext. Uh, the last time I gave you some of my precious, precious time and mental energy, uh, I did not receive any sort of dopaminergic reward. Uh, and so, in fact, I down, I deprioritized your tasks in my global optimization schema. It says further in subtext. Anyways. <sighs> do, 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 do. Sorry, I just got a, a really clear picture of my future, and it involves me not following what I said I was going to do. Er, okay. So. Realizing that I wanted to make a separation here between exercises and the capstone proper. So exercise four, this is the one, the building your tree, whatever. Which I probably built on oh, screen, oh, tabs. Ah, blah, blah. I don't love this color theme. I don't love this color theme. Control shift P, first of all, presenter mode. I don't know why it always forgets that. Wait, what did it call screencast mode? And then control shift P, uh, color, theme, fuck you, control shift P. Just looking for a blue, you see. Oh, God in heaven. 
What was it called? Blue? Yeah, blue. Great, sure. Why not? Uh. Right, and so <laughs> now this task was that I want to integrate these two because I, I sort of worked on this and I realized that it was already kind of coextensive with this, which this is clearly AI text. You can see this. I told it to do this, like if you don't have enough information, because it, it was it's matching this schema, I think. Because I changed change the words around, who even knows? Uh, so this is the gaslighting part, because I'm gonna move this out of the exercise four and into the capstone proper. Um, along with this capstone project description. Right. And, okay, so, uh, so we got these three things that are kind of all together. If only we knew a guy only we knew a guy who was good at that kind of thing of like you know text-based emotional labor I'm hesitant to do this just because you know AI is using AI always adds stochasticity to your system just almost by actually I'll say almost by definition because um, they're inference systems. Oh, what are we doing? Oh, we have... Oh, right. And I made this prompt thing. Yeah. I, and this is so I can work in here. Exercise builder. Ugh. What was that? As a radical anarchist teacher. This is one of the things that, like, I have no, I, I remember doing this, but I certainly don't remember specifics. But with talking to these AIs, it's basically just like, I could pick up this conversation exactly where I left it off. Um, and it will just start from there. Like, no hesitation, no question. Um, it's like a very nice, like, just mental bookmarking. Um, especially once you've sort of already broken up the topic space into the, the shape that you want. Um, just pop right in, talk about periodontal disease, blah, 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 do to do, do. Um, I generally wouldn't recommend, um, like this is like, I've said this before, but like a lot of small chats are better than one big one for a lot of reasons, mostly for your brain. I'm just going to do this to you old EB33 uh, because I can do whatever I want. <laughs> What would you ask about first? Let me see what you what you're into. Blah 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 blah. Uh, I would like to focus on as a marker of cardiovascular disease. Blah 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 blah. Blah 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 blah. Current treatments. Blah 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 blah. Blah blah blah. What do we care about? What do we care? I'll make some guesses for you. Um. Actually, I won't. I'm just going to pop a new chat. Who cares? Right-click the comment. This is going to be a screwy chat because it's going to start with this text. And so it's, it's going to get confused because the first thing it's going to see is going to be certainly blah, 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 blah. Um, actually, no. What do you know? So the, the individual one was, what do you know about periodontics as a marker for other diseases? Yeah. So I'm actually going to pop a new chat on your question, which is, do you know anything about current treatments? So, and the reason why I'm going to do that is that, first of all, I'm kind of just like, my eyes fell upon it, and so here's what we're doing. 
Um, we are diverting <laughs> instantly from the plan. Um, but it's fine. Uh, so you, right now you're having this conversation. You're asking this question in the context of this conversation, which is a great thing to ask. And it said things for you that maybe are useful to you. Um, but now I'm going to pop it open. So I'm going to right click the message. It's from a human. So it's a good, it's a good starting message for a conversation. Hit apps, hit open or open chat thread. And then I think it's going to pop one open at, at the next thing. And then here we are, we're talking about this thing. And then now this conversation is now being asked in, in the general context. Like you no longer have these other seven messages in the context window like this, you know, now when we're having this, it's now a fresh conversation only in the context of like, of this. Um, right. And I could even, I could, so this is this tag here of like new technology advancing. Like I could turn this off and then like, presumably the fact that this tag is here is going to make the bot more likely to talk about new technology advancing, blah, blah, blah. So I could turn this off and maybe it would be just, it, who knows what that would affect in the conversation, but presumably there would be less of a focus on like new and emerging tech and, you know, more conversation around traditional stuff, traditional technology for dentistry, periodontal, who's it's, um, because there will be, there will have been way, 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 way more information about the traditional approach in the bot's training set, because that's what traditional approach means. <sighs> Bias. Bias is a thing. Bias is a thing for sure, because it's using human, it's doing statistical matching based off generated human data, so it will inherit human biases and the people who make it are trying to clean the biases out and make it safe and whatnot. But do you trust them? I don't. None of this is what I was supposed to be doing right now. <laughs> okay. Prof demo general, general prof demo. Um, oh no, no, not the demo. We want to be in the workbench because I want to be able to not have it, um, I don't want it to get all teachery on me, you know, like be like, oh, like here's how you could do the work. It's like, shut up. Uh, and I, I haven't added the ability to, I really want to add like a, like a toggle or something like that. So you could basically s like turn off the prompting so you could just talk to it straight. And so you don't have to, like this, I mentioned this a while ago of how like this one probably won't just give you code because it's too much, it has embodied too much bias around what a teacher student relationship should be. So if you're like, hey, write this code for me, it'll be like, that's not what a teacher does. Um, and so to use it appropriately as, so I have configured it in such a, in such this way um, so that I can feel confident that every time I go into a chat conversation, free, for example, with old Fufakib, Fufakib, talking about fentanyl overdose, two messages, come on. Two met, come on, mate. I call, this is checkboxing. So you're checkboxing. It's fine. You've done, you did it. <laughs> um, so this one, eight messages. I don't have to look in them and read them individually because I know for the configuration of the bot, these conversations were on topic um, because the bot doesn't know how to have conversations off topic <laughs> at this level of the prompting hierarchy. Um, th you can see this one is being super verbose, um, which is kind of annoying, but I'm going to do this to you again. Oh, what a great question. It'd be a shame if we popped a new thread about it. <laughs> now you got to deal with it. I'm going to tag you and I'm going to remember to do the tilde, not tilde, tilde beforehand so that the bot won't respond to the tag. Who are you? Or who even are you? 437026, you monster. Feels really, oh wait, I tagged the role? Uh, 437226. 
Oh, that is your name and the role. I give up. Oh, because I set that. I set them from the same. Right, those are set programmatically from the same list of strings, so they're the same. What was I doing? Oh, right. I was the, in, moving through the dawning realization that this video is not going to be the thing that I said it was going to be. It is going to be me demonstrating how I use the machine to do stuff in such as document generation and whatnot, and then trusting you to read the thing. And then I still need to do all this other shit, but <laughs> just kind of like call it out if you don't know how to do it. And I, I'm also I'm very hesitant like with the with a, a, exercises three and four I think I popped those too hastily and then wanted to revise them later but realizing that like once I post an assignment like you all have been heavily trained to do that assignment so the iterative thing doesn't work if I am if I put it on canvas, like putting it on canvas is too large of an event um, for me to, I, I, I should not treat that as lightly as I do <laughs> my other. Uh, we're good. Who are you? What are we doing? I'm in prof work bench. I know what I'll do. Course materials. And then I say, give this kind of this nothing description of this channel is for the uh, bot and the professor to work on developing course materials for this class. It's redundant, but I'm really trying to emphasize, make sure that in its prompt, it knows this is, you're talking to the professor here, so it doesn't do that. They're called like refusals. It's like annoying, where it's like, it just doesn't do a thing that it absolutely can do. Um, and I've been noticing it happening more recently, which makes me think that they are changing something behind the scenes in their prompting. Um, because every time it doesn't produce text or code for you, they save money. So because they don't have to run it for as long. So it is a valve that they have access to to like just change the prompting to get slightly different behavior. And then we humans won't tend to notice the subtleties, but they will notice statistically. It's like, oh, we're burning less energy because we've told it to not talk as much, which is part of the reason why I hate these motherfuckers so much is that this is now a tool that is changing underneath me. And I invisibly so sooner or later we will burn the world to the ground with local models but until then we use the best tools that are available you don't get extra points for leaving tools on the table and so we use them but if they're free open source we're nice and friendly and supportive if they are corpo hive mind paid systems we are un unbelievably unfairly aggressively critical okay what are we doing here um slash chat uh help me compile these uh three documents into one good document outlining oof this that i can that I can give to the students. See, it knows who I is because I've told it that the profess that this is where the professor is. It doesn't see our usernames at all, so it just has the context. So it's gonna see the human said blah, 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 and then it's gonna have an I in there, and it's going to, you know, the statistical information available in its, in its context window is sufficient for, for 
a cognitive agent to determine that the I in this context refers to the human professor. Which will affect the statistical space of good likely outcomes, which is, wow, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. We're good, we're good, we're good. Just take a breath. Uh, that I can give to the students so that they know how to do the build a knowledge tree outline part of the prep or a preparat preparatory part of the capstone project. Noticing this guy doesn't give a fuck about grammar. Like, kind of gives a little bit of a fuck about grammar, but mostly it's like equivalent linguistic structures got to assume are treated similarly. Um, so this is not a sentence I would ever send to a human because it's gorpy and weird. Um, but to the machine, all day, all day. Like, I just, I'm just, I'm just trying to tune the language calculator to give me the answer I want. You motherfucker! What is that? What? A, I, I've seen that before. And I'm furious that I just lost that sentence I wrote. Uh, okay, when in doubt, just do that shit again. And now I'm mad, so I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> you, what? 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 Or? Or? What? What? When? How? But why though? It worked elsewise. What have we done? Where even are we now? Oh. Did I do a stupid? No. Well. Rule number one. It's always something stupid. It's always your fault. I don't want to dig into you. What are, what, why, how, where, was? It was just doing it though, wasn't it? I have a suspicion that it might have something to do with like the pattern matching of the name. And so I'm trying to, I'm, I'm, I'm testing, I'm seeing, okay, it works here, but it doesn't work here. What's different? We're in this category. What's different between these categories? Well, these prompt settings are there. I have a, I know that that part of the code is screwy, so I'm not, so I wouldn't be shocked if it broke there. So let me just make the name look exactly like the other name. last time presumably you mother I'm upset but that's okay <laughs> oh you're so cute <laughs> <laughs> okay, where's my fucking phone? There it is. Okay. So now that I'm not in that place, um, I don't have the benefit of all those extra prompts that are saying, like, hey, this is the professor and whatnot. So if only there was some other method that I could make sort of an equivalent set of text blobs. Um, where are we? You're in general chat. Because I'm just trying to get it to... All of this is to for me to avoid having to like read three documents and edit one. <laughs> okay, so I'm on my phone. The phone can take voice memos. I don't want to type, so I'm going to talk. Hi, this is the professor of this class, and I want to use this thread to work with you, the bot, to develop some course materials together. Uh, in my next message, I'm going to give you three text documents that are sort of each kind of like 
a different sort of iter- instance iteration of a definition of the build a knowledge tree outline portion of the capstone project. Um, which I'm assigning to the students as kind of like a preamble to like working on the actual project. So like the idea is that they work on building the outline by talking to you, the bot. And in the course of doing that, they both kind of learn how to do AI. They learn how to like break their topic up into this kind of like hierarchical structure, fractal sort of structure and um, like nested trees and all that kind of stuff. The bot knows what that is. Don't you? I don't have to explain it to them. Um, and so then once they've done that, they'll be in a much better position to start uh, cranking on their actual capstone project. Um, so I'm going to give you, so in the next message, uh, so first of all, just make sure they, they clarify that you understand the task, um, outline what I just said in like a little short, concise markdown formatted code block with headings and subheadings covering the major points. And then in my next message, I'll give you, I'll give you the current form of the documents and then we can iterate from there. Sound good? I moved my, the phone away from my mouth for a while, so it's possible that it didn't catch some of that text. Um, and I'm not going to check the transcript, so we'll just find out as a group. Oh, I guess I gave it that so I can actually check if it understood. Love this fucking dude. Uh, and that's just really like this kind of like I'm calling I'm trying to think of this as like it's a slot bucket approach to communication where it's like it's like hey man I I would I'm not going to polish this I'm sorry it was hard enough to make it once um, so the, here you go here's here's how I made it and your task is to use it <laughs> and the help I will give of this is this video of me using it and then the outcome of that usage, which in which the outcome of that usage is instructions on how to use it. Step one, get snake. Step two, insert snake. Step three, go to one. Alrighty. What did I delete? Where are you even? hate that <laughs> uh, it's in the kit it wouldn't it wouldn't have been lost it's in the history okay so we got you we've got okay so we've got you wait what the shit this was the one that was there Oh, right, I remember. Okay, so you are here. Uh, you are here. Yeah, this is the most, this is probably the fullest one. And you are a little bit extra. Are you adding much? I do want to show you examples, but um, I will I will do that later. I want to talk about that. Okay. Okay. So one, two, three. Okay. Let me preempt this guy because I know this, um, and it will see the file names, so I can I can reference them. I can reference them by file name. Okay. So right click you. Ugh. Haha. <laughs> Back tick, paste, Ugh, motherfucker. Okay. Okay, so the exer exercise for dash building your tree dot make down 
file is the most robust, it has the most content. Uh, and is fairly in line with the plans. It's following a more exercise schema though, and I want this to be more of a, a here's the definition of definition of the assignment. Kind of thing. It's, oh, fuck me. Um, I guess we had entered too quickly. So what we're gonna do? I'm gonna I'm gonna restart. So right click on the audio and. Oh, no, that gets fucky. So I'm going to do a right click from here. Uh, open chat from the transcript. It pops open over here. Now we're in here. And it's going to be like, ugh. Oh. Urgh. It gets, it has this whole thing in there. Okay. Right click you. I'm just making a mess in the general chat. It's fine. Blorp, as if I wrote it. How could it ever know the difference? See, the answer is slightly different because it is a temperature setting which adds randomness to it, which I, I also really wish I had the setting to turn off, but I don't think there's gonna be much UI updates. Um, and now I go, Back to this original one. I, I, I like the. Nope, not that one. That one's broken. Go back to this one. Grab that. Go back. Plunk. Uh, it didn't keep the formatting because I cop. I, I selected and hit Control A instead of right clicking to say copy text, so it lost that formatting. But I just had it back. Um. And we have learned that we have to go to the file system to get the file. Uh, mm -hmm. F2, control A, control C. The blank, the dot, dot, dot uh, file is my notes on a video I was going to make about it, but then I. I didn't make it, and um, is there anything good in it? I don't know if it introduces any additional info relative to the other files. So I'm being way more intentional about this because I'm because you're presumably watching me um, if this was me on my own I would have just blopped the text files in there without giving me this extra stuff but I think um, oh ooh, ooh, ooh. don't hit enter Con oh wait and I gotta go into the file system which is here and then I can drag you there great Doop -doop -doop -doop. And then this one is in the file system. Uh, up, up, capstone proper. There we go. So, okay, F2, Control A, Control C, drag, drag and drop. And then the back tick paste back tick uh, document is the most up to date uh, plan uh, outline line for the uh, out for the knowledge tree assignment um, 
but it's pretty impoverished relative to the others. Uh, please make a... Do I have to tell it what to do? Help it there. Break down. Get to do... Oh, uh, sure. Uh, it can read raw text files if they're attachments. It just copies it into the chat. Okay. It's not what I want. Oh, it's still defining the task. Yeah. Great. Great work. Uh, please uh, give me a draft. So keep it from being a dick about it. Of of the actual student facing document that we will give them so that they understand what to do in this assignment. Um, and why they are doing it. Exercises, exercise four, building your tree. Look at this, the capitalization's all screwed up. Um, and I'm also gonna give it the schema back. No. Uh, remember to use the uh, exercise for dash building your tree uh, file as a reference uh, as it contains the most detailed description of this task that we have available. Mm-hmm, there we go. Ba-da-ba-ba-doo! Let's see how you did. Knowledge tree outline assignment. Sure. In this assignment, you will construct a knowledge tree to organize, did to do. Select your markdown editor. I have a plan for the tool stuff in a second here. Oh man, look at this guy. Mm hmm. Completion criteria. Evidence of it, Jesus. Uh, sure. Discord, you sloppy beast. Alrighty. So now let's go back into VS Code. Do do do. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make, make a commit that sort of like commit before revamping exercise four into capstone outline tree assignment. Oh, but it's it's doing the auto commit thing. It's fine. Control C, control there. So I do this and I say git commit dash a m dash dash oh and I give it that um, dash dash allow empty get push 
get push. Almost like I know what I'm doing. Very similar to such a world. What am I doing? What am I doing? Oh yeah, I'm about to blast. This isn't even human text, so it's fine. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, you can change the vibe a little bit. Right, so we are, we're just gonna nuke this. Bye, 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 bye. Thank you. There's no longer X exercise four. You as well. Bye. It's not 27. It's fine. All right. Um, oh, and do I so Windows V? All righty. How are the vibes? Tree looks nice and balanced. I know that I gotta change the evidence of the blah 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 down there. Um, it's trueish. Good enough. Preview. Ooh. Why is it? Oh, it's just showing that. <laughs> yes. Set up citation management. Step by step guide. Check this out. You'll see this in a second. If you have questions, uh, Go. If you have question, all right, you, that's yeah, okay. Uh, Throw shift P screencast. Get out of here. Thank you. If you have, if you need, mm -hmm. if you need assistance, what are you doing? Using or using choosing using or choosing a a tool to use. Why are you why are you doing all this autocomplete stuff uh, for this assignment please ask in the appropriate I don't know why it's doing that uh, in the tools <laughs> category uh, if you need help with this in the Zotero. It's actually not three by three, it's three to the third. <sighs> Summarize in less than one sentence. Uh, if you want to know more, uh, Look up. Oh, what, did you get it? <laughs> oh, that's exactly right. That's exactly right. Uh, check out and or ask the bot about it. You think this guy hasn't read Wikipedia? You think this motherfucker has not read and internalized all of Wikipedia? It knows. It knows. Of course it knows. How could it not know? Oh, God damn it. Uh, I didn't even, I've never seen, like, um. <sighs> Killing me. Uh, especially Hillary. 
Putnam. Don't get excited, Hillary. This is from the era where Hillary was a man's name. It's like every time I find like any academic woman of note from the past, I'm like, my God. <laughs> How? <laughs> I'm shocked that anyone can exist as a non-white man in the modern era, but like, Jesus, you were a successful female academic in the past? Good Lord. But this is, you just, you're just an old white guy. Like, that's not impressive in any, it's just like, demographically, as an individual, I'm sure you worked very hard, but demographically, I'm not shocked. I am not surprised to find you here. <laughs> Even though I understand you're probably completely blown away by it. <laughs> da, 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 da. This is one of those things like, I'm actually not sure if the bot would know this because this is pretty niche. This is like, this just happened to be the paper I read about it when I was a philosophy major. And like, it's possible entirely that my understanding of this is completely nothing to do with what the official stuff is. But anyways, um... You're going to want to know how to submit it. You're going to want a deadline. I'll give you a deadline later. Uh, and you'll submit it in your fucking Discord server somewhere. I'm at an hour, so my brain's about to melt. And this... <laughs> it's the beauty of plans. Uh... Definition of done. You will know, will know when you are done Sure. That's a sub, but yeah. Nope. You have, do I say, at least, did I say 27 elsewhere? These are not like you've read every, like, you don't like, you don't read every word in a paper, right? This is just like, if you're writing a scientific paper, when you ever, every time you make a factual claim, you have to back it up. Um, and you either back it up with like, I did the measurement and I can, I did the measurement, I did the math and I know that this is true or someone else did it at a, some different time and they told me it's true. Um, so you don't have to like read the whole thing. Cause if you read the paper, if it's a good paper, then the title and the abstract tells you everything that happened in there. And you should look into it just so you know, you trust them. But like, we kind of, we, we, we trust the process and we trust the system because we have no other choice. So if there is some paper that, hey, I want to make a factual claim about the world, this paper, I, citation, these guys said it, these guys, like, this paper established the empirical veracity of the statement that I am now going to put into my treatment of the thing. So you just need 27 of those, and, like, you should read them with your human eyes, um, but there's this machine now, you see, that you can away is there anybody else hmm? yeah so now it's like you have reflected on it which is telling me that again I could, I could clearly just read this fucking document but the fact that it's not coming up with another definition of done tells me that it confirms my suspicion that I have exhausted the instructions here because if there was an obvious thing that I was missing it would find it and give it as the fourth bullet point because it didn't it's just saying it's, it's finding some bullshit to fit in here so like which means that and it, it's like it matches what I assumed was true which is that's where bias lives but it's also it's an unavoidable aspect of human psychology okay Okay. Uh, 
enable a plugin extension uh, to let you view the outline as a tree or mind map. True. Um, in VS Code, it's, yeah, I, it's, it's so funny. I like the, I don't like that one. Mark map extension. If you have questions, ask the machine. Ah, oh, dearie me. Uh, okay, my brain's about to fall out of my head. I feel reasonably okay with this. Your guys are gonna get confused because I haven't told you how to turn it in. Um, we'll do that later. Just don't, don't worry about it. We'll plop it in your server somewhere. I don't know. We'll put we'll put it somewhere. It'll be. I'm I'm trying to decide if it's gonna be in your channel or if it's gonna be, if I'm gonna make like some like public space. Um, I think. Hmm. How to turn it in. Hypothetical. How to submit your work. Uh, <laughs> uh, plop the markdown file in your categories. Mm, general chat, I think I call them general chat. I don't know what this autocomplete thing is, but I, I hate it. It's probably it, probably some extension that I have turned on. Yeah, y'all y'all all have a general chat. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna keep being cutesy about it. Uh, tag tag it tag it with a doink seedling. It's a cute little guy a reaction. You'll figure it out. And some of you, the reaction is when you add it to the message. A lot of you just like sent it after as a separate message, which is honestly fine. Um, tag it and uh, tag me the prof and then tag the me cares <laughs> me prof the professor in a message message by I gotta get rid of that I hate it so much <laughs> uh, typing In a message. I don't know, who cares? You'll figure it out. Um, we've talked about this, the stochastic nature of instructions. It's like most of you'll figure it out. A percentage will not. And it's not their person's fault. It's just it's not it's just their turn. <laughs> A subset of you are going to hate this because it's not going to give you like it, this is you're not going to feel like you're done um but once you've tagged me you're done just like put it to do this you're done you'll be done i will and the next iteration of my work on this project is going to be like scraping and compiling and stuff like that so i will be able to give you a like hey by the way here's your checklist and your 
here's all the boxes you need to check. Um, and then also the next part, it, like once the outline, the next step is the like like more definitions about the capstone proper, which I have some in here. This is top level, that, should, that deserves to be there. Um, I have more to say about that though. Um, oh, I had, I did a little bit of AI flim flamery to try to add some specificity to that, but. Is this new? Moving on, <clears throat> we'll get there. Um, okay. Right, 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 right. Okay, and then tools. Um, this is the this is the clever bit. This is the part where I'm being clever. Um, so we go back to the server. God, I really want to get image generation so I can be not too NC annoys me uh, right click here create category we're going to call it using the same pattern we're using the straight line dash dash tools and you will get these tools hmm. wrench and then in here where are you I got the bottom of discord you fucking slop bucket piece of shit I hate this. I hate Discord. I hate Discord so much. <laughs> it's like the depth of my despisement for this piece of software has only grown deep, deep as I I now have written enough code in it. It's like it's like grr. All right. Oh, are you not gonna? Was it a permissions thing? Because I, I realized I made a category recently and it didn't work. So um, this, this one works though, right? Yeah, okay. Duplicate channel. And go up in tools. And I say, I'm in the tools channel, tools category, tools channel. And I say, in this category, we will have a we will have a bunch we'll have channels where the students can come to you to ask questions about how to you the bot about how to use the various tools that we can use in this course hit it with the bot emoji poink and now we're going to make vs code uh, this channel is for uh, for the students to ask questions about using Using, come on, a VS Code as a markdown editor. They may have little to no XP in programming markdown software or anything. So uh, hold their hands about it. <laughs> uh, oh, 
you will also want to uh, be sure to help them e uh, set up add extensions like mark map so they can view their mark down files as nice trees. Um, so you sh using uh, it's fine. Copy that. Control C. Save that. Adapt this, but for Obsidian MD. Uh, adapt. Yeah, let's keep on. Got the pronouns wrong. They're complicated. Turns out. General chat. Which are we? Tools. New guy. Obsidian. Markdown. Edit channel. Here's a bloop. Nope. No. Come on, you fuck. Bloop. Oh, see, this kind of like corpo blob speak is like, this is what happens if you don't tell it what to do. Like this, like when I say like the vibes are off, I mean this. Like whether you need a markdown or software, don't. It's like shut the fuck up, my dude. Like that's not. Like, go back to fucking Target. Like, get out of here. Uh, Where was this is writing copy? It's like, fucking, like... You know what I'm saying? Right, you know what I'm saying. Like, fuck this. Ugh. Uh, I, I made this not even worth it. That was not worth the bot. So, it's not, I don't know what it's called. Uh, extensions to help, ah, I don't need to yell, to help them view their markdown outlines as uh, mind maps. Some people call them mind maps, uh, but I call them uh, and nice trees. Save. Anyone else? Any new tools? Other. Other. Oh, Zotero. Zotero. This is one of those things like Zotero is a pretty special purpose thing, so like I probably don't even need to give it any more additional instructions, but I will because. Like VS Code is used for a lot of stuff. Um, so I wanted to specifically tell it that it's for markdown and editing and give it some of that. Um, Cause otherwise it'd be like, oh, you're trying to make a, you're trying to write code and stuff like that. Um, but this channel is for the students to ask you the bot about how to use the Zotero software uh, to manage their citations and stuff. Um, encourage them to use the better bib text. I don't know if it's called a plugin or extension, what do they call it over there? Plugin um, and uh, show them how to use Zotero to generate a bibliography in their text editor of choice. <laughs> mm. 
<laughs> you can also just make one of these channels in your category. Like if you want to prompt it differently or whatever, or use a different tool, just you, like you know how to make a channel now. Just make whatever one you want about whatever topic you want. Forever. <laughs> and it will explain it to you with infinite patience. Um, you can also probably override, like, if if there's if it's doing something annoying, you can't turn off the upper level prompts, but you can just give it an additional prompt saying, like, just kidding, don't do that. Um, so, your space, other, other. I don't need to give that one any prompting. Okay. Feel good about that. This feels vestigial at this point, but we'll leave it mostly because I really like. I love the intro chats. Those are like one of my favorite bits. Um, but some of these feel vestigial, but it's fine. Who are you? Where are we? Where is any of us? Are we done? Oh, I want to be done. And I don't have to make, I'm not going to make a canvas page explicitly. Ugh, love that. Fucking hate canvas. <laughs> so much. Okay. Um, we put it there. Do we need to commit anything? It auto committed. We're going to do another empty commit. Um, I don't mind the auto commit thing, but I do want to, you want to give it named tags because otherwise it's just a bunch of these time stamped ones and you can't really tell what's what. So. Go back to the thing and I say git commit um, outline assignment ready. I guess. Oh, wait, no. Um, dash am. Dash a is all. Dash m is a message. That is the message. And I say dash dash allow empty because there aren't actually any changes. And I say git push to push it up to the sky. Don't worry about it. Aha. Aha. Ho ho. And now I write clicks upon him. Oh, is the file name still good? Uh, yeah. Matches the top level heading. H1, H2. And then when I click on this guy, this is mark map. This is some other thing which I didn't like as much. Um, Another mind mapping extension. This one I like because you can export it as an HTML. Um, yeah, so H1 is this one, H2 are these ones, and then it also will treat um, bullets as just like other parts of the tree. Okay, right click, open on remote, open file on remote. I look up here because I have a ridiculous monitor on this side. Blink. And that's the link. And hmm, actually, okay, see, now I am actually going to try this. Uh, go over here to all these weird things. Create. Can I create one before? I can't. Okay. I can't give, I'll, I'll add the link later. I want to fully oral the burrows here, so I'm going to into the announcements channel. Ho, ho, look at people responding. Bless you. Bless your hearts. This is this is the online equivalent of the students in the class who go like, <laughs> it's right here. Oh, it's like, yes, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you letting that understanding affect your physical form. <laughs> hey, everyone, I say, shouting into the room. Everyone, uh, here's a more robust, I'll just see. Here's the new definitions of the, uh, I'm just going to keep saying it, build a knowledge tree outline. See, it's scare quotes because I'm a coward. Outline assignment. Doink. Here's the video about it. 
see, you don't know. When, when you read this, you thought this was going to be, like, instructive. What are you new here? <laughs> the thing is the thing, you see. And then I'll put a link to be put here. When it makes it eventually consistent. Okay. I think it's pretty good. I think it's everything you need. Um, if you get confused, ask me, ask the machine, ask everybody, ask God. <sighs> yeah. Oh, let me check the notes. How do we do? Let's clean up planning. We did do that. There's we we deleted files, which. Ugh. Deleting text. Deleting things is the best. Right? You can add new stuff all day. Like, especially now in this age of AI, generating text, not impressive. Deleting text? Ooh. Mwah. Uh, and then I hit this part here. I offloaded this task to the machine. Because I am. Because I am. <laughs> I feel great about that. <laughs> The best case I could have done, like, I already showed you how to use VS Code. I'm not really showing how to use Zotero, but I am, you should, I, I am told that you have, you should have been trained in that at this point. And if you don't, there's a machine. And also, arguably, this is the most useful thing I did <laughs> this whole video. Uh, let me see something fucked up. Don't, don't, don't worry about it. What's all this then? Mm hmm. It can see things. WVO hint. How clever are you? I'm not going to get that. There's no way. There's no way. <laughs> nope. Here's another hint. WVO Klein. Nailed it. Just needed a little hint. You just needed to push it. WVO was not enough of a of a tag to pull it into the right area of the statistical space to be able to parse what this is. WVO Klein, the addition of that extra little th five character poke was enough. Also remember, if you're curious about the assignment itself, just grab the markdown file, plop it into a chat, and ask it, what's all this then? <laughs> what do I do? I'm lost. I'm a big fan of explain please help i'm baby and it would that's how it, it'll give you really low level explanations if you do that <laughs> uh just it's just uh, it's fine take a breath go outside look at a tree you'll be okay make sure you're getting enough sleep and drink water i guess i don't know All right, hour and a half, not two hours. This might just be what we get. Hope you're having fun. Watch it at double speed if it's too long. And I'll see you in the next one. Aww. Wait. <laughs>